What's up, y'all? Every day say here, I am a life coach. Listen, I am creating a series for the men who are looking for a wife. Listen, not for a hookup, not for a one night stand, not for a, a, a fallback or any of that. I'm talking about men who want to be married, men who want to find a wife, men who want to have families. And before y'all say, well, how can he tell me because I'm getting married here in the next few months? So I'm giving away some of the tips that I did, some of the things I did in order to find my wife. And I'm going to try to give some of these tips to y'all so y'all can find your wife. You know, sometimes I feel like a broken record when I say this, but it's the truth. And it's the honest thing that I can tell y'all is that you meet people where you are. If you are broken, if you are jaded, if you are scarred. If you got trauma from whatever you went through, dealing with another woman or whatever you got going on, if you are operating from that place, that is what you're going to attract. In order to attract a wife, you have to be whole mentally, you have to be whole spiritually, you have to be whole physically, you have to be the best version of yourself. And let me pause before I say that. Because some of y'all are going to think, well, I have to have the high paying job and I got to be this. I got to be that. Listen, no. A man's financial peak is not until he get in his 40s. So I'm not telling you, you need to wait till you make the most money in your life at 40 years old and start looking for a wife. I'm not saying that. But you need to be able to sustain yourself. You should have a car. You should be able to afford your own place. And then on top of that, you also should be able to afford the cost of what it means to date women. You got to be a little bit financially secure in order to at least have those things in order. You don't have to be a multimillionaire. You don't got to make six figures. You ain't got to do none of that. But you have to have your stuff in order. The next thing, bro, you have to be the best version of yourself physically. Listen, I'm not saying you got to be jacked. You got to be ripped. You got to be this. You got. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that at a minimum, you should be going to the gym at least three days a week, doing anywhere between 30 minutes to one hour of workouts. At a minimum. As a consistent, for it to be consistent, for it to be part of your regimen, you need to create a habit of going to the gym and working on your body. And the reason why I say this is because when women look at men, they look at how men take care of their body because they're looking for you to take care of them. And if you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of them? Come on now. So listen, you should be going to the gym three days a week, 30 minutes to an hour, working out, doing the best you can. You know, whether that's losing weight, whether that's putting on muscle, whatever that looks like for you to be the best version of yourself, to attract the type of woman and the type of wife that you would want, that is what you need to be doing. The third thing is you should be uh, spiritually the best version of yourself. Listen, I understand there's many religions. I understand some people are just spiritual. I understand some people don't believe in God. Listen, if if you're none of those things, you don't believe in God and all that, this ain't for you. But for those of us who are Christians, those of us who believe in God, we need to have a relationship with God. We need to be having conversations with God. We need to be in God's word. We need to be reading our Bible and we need to be praying to God that he gives us discernment in order to find our wives. Listen, I'm not saying everything I'm telling you, you're going to run into your wife immediately when it happens. No, you're going to run into some people who are not your wife and you need to be able to have discernment to see that person. OK, that's not her. That's not her. Because if you don't have discernment, you're going to get confused. Something that you think is your wife, that it isn't your wife. So you need to have discernment, which means you need to have a relationship with God. We need to be having conversations. We need to be walking with God. We need to be in God's word. We need to be praying to God about having discernment to find a wife. And we also need to be praying for our wife that we have not found yet. Not only that, but listen, life throws curveballs all the time. Their life will do something to you where it's literally out of your control and there's nothing you can do. And if you don't have a foundation to fall back on, listen, you just going to be up a creep without a paddle. So listen, we need to be the best version of ourselves. So let's just say that y'all got all of that together. Like y'all, y'all there or y'all working on it, whatever. Cool, 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 cool. So this is about to be the last tip for this video, but I'm going to tell you this. Whenever y'all go out, I don't care if you're going to the grocery store. I don't care if you're going to the gas station. 
I don't care if you're going to wherever. I don't care if if it's just oh, I'm going out to get my mail or I'm going out to for a run. I don't care what it is. You should always look presentable. And what I mean by you should always look presentable is that I'm not saying you got to go out in a in a whole suit when you go to the grocery store. No, but your shoes should look nice. Your clothes should look nice, meaning no holes in it, no stains on it, no no raggedy, sloppy clothes. Like, no, you need to dress as if you're going to run into your wife at the gas station, run into your wife at the grocery store or wherever you go. Because a lot of times what people fail to realize is that a lot of times you meet the a lot of the people that you tend to meet and a lot of times wives they be at Target. They be at Target. They be at Walmart. They be at the grocery store. But if you go in there looking like a vagabond, yeah, you see a girl that you really like. Well, I'm you're not going to approach her because you don't look the part. You look crazy. Your hair is all over the place. You ain't combed it. Your shirt got a big old hole in it. Your shoes is floppy and you stink. So no, you're not going to you're not going to get that girl that's in Walmart and Target because you went in there looking crazy. Make sure that you look presentable wherever you go. So whenever you go out, if you see someone that you like, you see a woman that could possibly be your wife, you can approach them with confidence knowing that, you know what, I look good, I smell good, I feel good, I have a chance. So that's the last tip of this video. Wherever you go, I don't care where you are going. You, I'm not saying you need to wear a suit. But you need to dress appropriate. You need to dress like you're going to run into your wife and you're going to shoot your shot at a woman that's there. So you need to look good. You need to feel good. You need to smell good. Your clothes need to look nice. No holes in your clothes. You don't need to stink. You know, put on some nice shoes. They don't look need to be your grass cutting shoes. Nah, don't have your grass cutting shoes on. And look presentable because your wife might be there.